I'm so tapped up and I thought maybe I would bring back these little weekly update video things and you know talk about what I've been playing and so forth. Hello Parker. Um, so the, the return of the Mediacom malady I guess is issue number one. So I was really excited to stream Hard Time the end of this weekend. It's gonna be... Uh, it's this ridiculous... It's a, it's a prison simulator built on a wrestling game engine. It's pretty much exactly what you would expect based on that. It's like, it's bad, but it's really good. Um, it's by this guy named M. Dickey, who is a ridiculous human being, and he makes amazingly terrible games, like, but good. That's right, Parker. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream that, because I currently am getting less than, uh, I'm getting right around half of one megabit of upload speed. Uh, I pay for 20 and I need about 4.5 to really be able to stream 1080p60. Um, 2 megabits is really the minimum for like anything that doesn't look like complete garbage. 1 megabit is basically the minimum period. Like I, I can't, I actually would not be able to stream like, I, I would be able to stream like a static image and me talking and that's about it at the current bit rate. And I, that would still drop to zero. Um, I did a stream test on my internet and it, it averaged about 500 kilobytes per second dropping to zero to nothing to actually not sending a signal um, and it, it it you know it troughs at zero very frequently so and Mediacom is insistent that it is a problem at my house even though this has been going on for over a year they've sent over six different technicians who've looked at it. It's not my house. It's the whole neighborhood that is having the upload issue. They even fixed it last time. I was amazed. They actually did something and it stayed for, it, it, it broke again in under a week. And it's the same issue where it's consistently bad again. So, but the, the, every time I, I must get a new support person who is not familiar with the thing and they're like, oh, we'll send over a person and they'll fix you right up. It's like, no, it's not, it's not my house. It's the whole neighborhood. I even told them it's the whole neighborhood, but they still want to send a person. You know, maybe maybe my modem is sending out evil devil radiation to the rest of the houses and causing them, you know, to, to have internet congestion and constipation so they can't poop out the bits. And, pff, God. So I told them that they're free to send a dude here, but, like, it's just a waste of everybody's time because it's not my house. And I, I don't know when they're ever going to be able to fix it. I, I like where I live. It's it's cheap. It's it's a really nice place. There's a, just, just the right size of a city. Um, not like, you know, everybody's going to actually murder you in traffic, in cold blood for, you know, doing whatever. And, like, people, for the most part, use turn signals, which is nice. Um, it's not too big. It's not really major, like, smog issues. Um, people are mostly non-garbage uh, which you don't really see at big cities. No offense, but actually, yes, some offense. Um, I've visited many cities. I, I, I would, I would either die or kill people if I had to live in a big city. So, best for everyone that I do not. Um, but the one thing that makes living here really frustrating is the internet. We only have MediaCom. And for some reason, for, for my area specifically, they're simply incapable of delivering a proper signal, which is weird because I'm right near downtown. Um, <laughs> I'm like a three minute drive from downtown and like, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, aside from internet issues, um, I've been trying to keep content a bit more regular. I've been updating the SirTapTap.com more regularly. I've started the series called Free Points which uh, it's this weekly free game recommendations, actually free, not that free to play garbage. Uh, I've been burned many times recently by free to play stuff that turns out to be worse than usual. Um, but yeah, free points. I've covered stuff like Yumi Nikki, Off, Drop Alive. I'm planning to cover some stuff like Epic Battle Fantasy. Um, you know, just good free games, stuff like the, the Elephant Games on armor games you know just good free stuff that's worth your time that's the whole that's the whole pitch so you'll be getting one of those a week on sirtapdow.com i've also made a couple new guides i made a guide for makai wars which i showed a, a video of that and i did a video for or i did a guide for um oh you want my food that's what it is isn't it um but yeah 
um, made a guide for the new Yumi Nikki game, which, which is obviously, if you've seen my other videos, I'm a little bit disappointed in it, but I want to help out other Yumi Nikki fans, and I want to help them enjoy. G generally, my thing is I want to help people enjoy games as much as possible, so I want to help, even though I don't think you should buy the new Yumi Nikki game, if you do buy it, I want my fellow Yumi Nikki fans to enjoy it as much as they can, so that's why I made the guide. Um, and that's why I like making guides in general, and that's why I'll be sad if the Abyssrium situation gets worse and I have to stop making stuff for it. Uh, I don't want the game to be bad. I want to help people have fun, but I can't support something that exploitative, so it's a rock and a hard place sort of thing. Um, oh, and I did get, this is sort of unusual, but I got a Netgear gaming router to review, sent free of charge, so, you know, I'll be mentioning that in any reviews that I post. Um, I I wanted to test it for streaming, and then Mediacom happens all over my internet, and I can't stream. It has a really cool, it has, like, this really fancy operating system, and you go in, and, um... You can manage, you can do some stuff that I always wanted to do with my network. Like, I can be like, okay, don't let my Surface Pro hog my internet if I'm streaming. So, like, I can give, I can allot bandwidth. So, I can be like, okay, reduce the bandwidth on the PS4 and the Surface Pro. Increase bandwidth, so, you know. It basically, it lets you set limits so that, you know, if this device is streaming, other stuff won't congest it. And it has this anti-bluffer bloat thing. So, no one program is allowed to consume everything. So, like, if something's up downloading an update, I can still play video games online and stuff. And uh, it has, like, a network map. It's really fancy. I'll do I'll do some manner of video or post of it. But I wanted to test what it could do for my streaming stuff. But I guess that's I'm just going to have to review it without that. But, yeah, it's a Netgear, some numbers, Nighthawk. It's one of the fancy gaming ones. Um... Looks kind of like Darth Vader. It's it's a little understated compared to the usual. Like, it's not that monolith thing that has, like, 17 different antennas that looks like the black marker from Dead Space. It's not quite that level. It's, like, a level or two down from that. It's still very clearly a gaming router. But, oh, one awesome thing you can do, you can turn off the blinkiness of the lights. Uh, it they, they really thought of everything. I'm, I can't believe I've never owned a router where you could turn off the light blinkage. I hate that crap. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty cool, and I've been enjoying my limited use of it. It does, it, it's been good, but like, <laughs> I've got it, I, I agreed to check it out to, uh, to see what it could do for my streams, and then Mediacom decided to not let me stream. On, on the plus side, they have been, to some extent, prorating my stuff, but not really enough, considering it's basically been a full month that my internet has been unacceptably bad. So, if I get charged at all for February, honestly, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. Um, in terms of actual games that I've been playing, so I've been really enjoying .hack GU. I wanted to stream that, but then, you know, you know what happened. Um, so, I beat the ma the original three volumes, and I've started in .hack GU last recode, the PS4 version. It has a... Fourth volume, which is totally new, and it also includes all of the extra stuff. It includes this, like, parody mode where they, like, redub some of the cutscenes with, you know, jokey stuff. And the terminal disc, which is this, like, extra... It came with a limited edition of the original PS2 release, and you could unlock, like, secret codes. It's like a retelling of some stuff from a CC Corp um, person in-universe. It's kind of retelling the story. It's pretty neat. And it also includes this fourth volume, which is totally new, I think. And um, you can kind of tell that like there's a 10-year difference between the re the uh, remaster and the original. So some of the voice is a little different, but uh, and it's kind of not... It's not a full volume, but it does include a new job class. And the, it's very restricted, but it has it does do some interesting story stuff that was not in the original. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure how far I am. Into, I'm in a couple hours into that. I don't know how long it is. It's obviously not going to be like 20 hours like the original each episode was, but um, it's been interesting so far, and uh, I I can't recommend enough if you're into pretty much any kind of like JRPG stuff, uh, Dot .hack's really good. Um, I really hope the original games get like a remake at some point, or just new game that will, that will be good too, CC Corp. 
or CyberConnect2. So if you didn't know, CyberConnect2 is the company that makes Dot .hack and stuff. And um, they're also one of my favorite Neptunia characters. They have a... And they 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 have a Neptunia maker character. Ow! What are you doing? Why are your paws wet? You're gross. He drinks with his feet. Um, anyway, they have this character in Neptunia called, you know, the named after the company, CyberConnect2. And... Um, they commissioned some official, like, fan art books. Official fan art. I, I mean, that's a thing, apparently. Uh, and they're, they're really good. I have two of them. One of them I couldn't get shipped to the U.S., which is a shame. Um, but uh, their character's really cute. And so, anyway, what they did, they... CyberConnect 2 made themselves the villain, kind of. Like, the, the, the kind of, like, cyberpunky dystopian company is called CC Corp. So they made themselves the bad guy, which is kind of hilarious. And they're also... The, the president of the company is this ridiculous guy in-game. Um, Puros, who's, like, this ridiculous shonen protagonist kind of deal. He's not the actual protagonist of the game. He's, like, this idiot that, like, you lug around. You're like, wow, this guy's dumb. <laughs> it's just... They, they seem to have a great sense of humor about themselves, but... They've been kind of locked in a room making Naruto games for the last 10 years. So I hope they escape that room. Like, I, They're good Naruto games, apparently, but give, give some Dot .hat games, too. Um, other than that, that's consumed most of my gaming time. Other than stuff I've obviously recorded and posted. Um, in terms of mobile stuff, I'm pretty turned off mobile in general now. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp has been good. And uh, Makai Wars I've been enjoying. I don't like that it has a Gashapon, but otherwise I've been enjoying it. Um, I wasn't sure whether to do like I've been thinking of doing like a what I've been playing sort of mini feature on my site too but for now I just want to focus on free points get one of those articles out there a week I just want to keep things regular and that's kind of why I wanted to do this for a video like I'll do one weekly thing on the site one weekly thing on the videos because if I get out of the hang of things it's so hard to get back into stuff and uh, <laughs> I figured I should do this for a more sort of personal thing, not about any specific thing, because that's, that's what the live streams are usually more like, but if I can't stream, I guess I gotta do it a different way. Ugh. Yeah, hopefully they'll fix things, but like, they're really bad. They're really bad. But on the plus side, I have a whole bunch of cool stuff on Itch.io that I need to check out, so I guess I'll be checking that out instead. I'm tentatively saying that maybe I can stream hard time. I mean, I can't tell. That's that's the worst thing about streaming and the internet issues is I can't I can't say for sure whether I'll be able to do it or not, and that that really saps my interest. But we'll we'll see. Anyway, I rambled on a bit longer than I hoped I would, but I was hoping to get like maybe five ten minute little quick update videos on uh, what I've been doing, what's what's going on in the in in gaming news. Oh, speaking of gaming news, so the ESRB sucks. What else is now? Um, the ESRB decided to pretend to care about loot boxes, so they're adding a new label for in-game purchases, and like it's frickin' 2006 and anyone cares about that anymore. Uh, they refuse to use the term loot box or anything like that, because they, they don't think the parents will understand what a loot box is. It's like no one gives a crap about, oh, you can pay one dollar and you get the frickin', you know, gold dildo hat. Like, no one, no reasonable person still cares about stuff like that, like... There's some games that go too far and stuff, but no, people care about gambling in video games targeted at children. No one's like, oh no, you can buy a $20 season pass that doubles the content of this game. Oh no, whatever will I do? It's like, and that, that, that rating, that label's just going to be on every video game ever and nobody's going to care about it. It's like, just... <laughs> it's just performative garbage. We don't need the ESRB anymore. If, if they can't take a stance on this... As far as I'm concerned, they're dead. That just just dissolve them. We don't need them. Get get rid of them, please. They're just a barrier for any games. They're just trash. Um, it's kind of a shame because the ESRB is kind of like the one example of self regulation that actually really worked. Uh, but that was in like the mid '90s, and they've basically been garbage ever since. Ever since the um, San Andreas thing, I lost a lot of respect for them, and then I came to find that oh. They're actually a big pain in the butt for indie games. They've been a little bit less of a pain lately. but uh, And they're also why you can't show cleavage on even like an, an M-rated or adults-only thing. Like, the cover has to be E-rated, basically. So that's why people, that's why companies like 
you know, they have to airbrush out the cleavage on, you know, Japanese games. It's not the publisher being jerkbags. No, that's the ESRB. They literally have to do that. Even if it's not selling in a physical store, that's, yeah, it's it's the ESRB's fault. It's really ridiculous. Um, so yeah, the, the one thing the ESRB could have possibly done to value, to validate their own existence at this point is to take a stand against the gambling thing. Nope. So, as far as I'm concerned, throw the bums out at this point. They're just, they're nothing but trash. Anyway, hopefully future videos of this sort will be a little less frustrated, but between the Yumi Nikki thing, the actual gambling in games targeted towards children thing, uh, the Abyssrium thing, and the internet issues, <laughs> it's been a bit of a frustrating week. I have been doing good, like, personally speaking. Uh, I've been really enjoying Dot Hack. I've been doing, like, a sort of diet kind of thing, uh, drink lots of V8, cutting out snacks and pop, and uh, it's been going well. I haven't had too much issue sticking to that. So uh, it's only been a couple weeks now, but um, <laughs> if I tried stuff like this before, I usually bailed before now. So that's uh, that's pretty good, I think. I'm also trying to kill uh, caffeine, and I've been trying to wean myself off melatonin too, just kind of keep things simple and natural. You know, I don't, I'm not one of those people that thinks everything needs to be natural, but. Um, I, I, I don't really think I need melatonin. Well, I do need melatonin. You, the thing about melatonin is that you eventually, your body's like, well, I already have enough melatonin, so I produce it on myself too. So you have to wean yourself off of it to get your body naturally producing it again. And I absolutely needed melatonin as a college student. I, I ended up getting some major issues there because of that, but uh, I don't need it anymore, so I've been getting off it. Just, you know, saves a few bucks buying the crap and... Let's my body have a bit more normal control over that. But yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for this week. Um, I hope to have a bunch more videos next week since I can't stream, so I may as well record something sometime. So, see you around.